I never thought that you killed Adam. No, I didn't. I had my bow and arrow pointing at a red feather that I lured back. But when it looked at me, it was those limpid uh, brown eyes. Yeah, such big trusting eyes. Uh, I just couldn't do it. No way. Did she vent her anger at you, Jeff? Well, you know how she could get when she yes, gets really, I, I'm just really angry. You bet. And Teeth I'm, gritting angry. I, I think I know the answer, but I just wanted to ask you. Now, if you, you know exactly what I'm talking about then, don't you? Oh, yeah. When something didn't go her way, she transferred her anger yeah. to me. Now, multiply that incident by a thousandfold. <laughs> And that's what I went through. Yeah, I know. I was living it, too. I remember. Yeah. I remember. I don't want to get uh, serious and morbid and all that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. But I do want to get some things straight, if it's okay with you. Am One I thing I wanted to share with you. Mm -hmm. Remember that uh, small wooden box? Um, yeah. You know what was in it, don't you? I, I was so wrapped up in and what I was doing. And I want you to know I love you so very much, and I care about you. Same here. Okay, Dad. What did you enjoy doing most with me? Oh, uh, tennis, fishing in the pond. Uh, let's see. What did you enjoy least doing with me? Homework. <laughs> yeah. You know, that 4-H project was a lot of fun. We both did that. Oh, we used to have fun with the chickens, the, the lambs, and then we used to go on those long hikes with the hiking sticks. Yeah, that's right. And all the, all the moths that used to come towards the window, yeah. and we used to catch those. We had quite a collection there. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. I just want to see things cool down. And, uh, I know. I sure this was a big bang in the head for me, too. Well, I, I, under I understand that. I was really down, and I, I'll be honest with you, I, I, it, this is not an easy time for me, but I'm not going to cry, you know. I just want you to know that, though, Jeff, okay? Away at work, I mean, out of town. His mother uh, had a lot of mental, emotional problems, she had an alcohol. And when did you have fantasies about, uh, when did you think about males? Well, uh, ever since I uh, was active that way. There, I, I don't know why it's that way. All I know is that uh, it's that way for some reason. I don't understand it any more than anybody else. What was the very first fantasy, I was wondering, that you can remember having, which you thought to yourself was kind of odd or disturbing? Uh, the first one I can remember is having an interest in, uh, in those dead dogs on the side of the road, cutting open and finding out what's inside of them. So that was the first that you can remember that you had a fantasy about looking at the inside of uh, yeah. animal remains. All right, and then graduated to, uh, and what graduate to. You did go cruising around in your bicycle yeah. after road kills, right? One time I, I stuck that, uh, that these skin dogs got on a, on a stick. One of the guys in high school, mm -hmm. they figured that I had probably done it because it was closest to my property. I am making a parallel with my early childhood. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. I think you'll find it very interesting when I get done with it. Yeah, I hope so. It's a, there are some very interesting parallels. Well, these thoughts are pretty weird. I, I imagine it would take digesting. <laughs> well, no, I, I had uh, weird thoughts, too, too, in my childhood. You're just like me, Jeff. I think they remember the day when she left. Do you know that damn water pump that kept going yes. on the fridge? Yeah, kept getting waterlogged. That happened just before she was about to take off, and she was all upset about that. Really, really upset about that. Angry that I couldn't get it fixed. Angry that, that you couldn't delayed. get it fixed? Huh? Yeah, that it was delaying her plan. Uh, I finally got it fixed, I think, and then... I you know. It wasn't one of her better days, let's put it that way. Was the jogger, um, was he tall or short? He was, uh, I'd say maybe 5'10", slender build. Mm hmm. And uh, did he have hair? Lots of hair? Yeah. 
Where did you first see him? I was just riding down to the Lawson store and uh, happened to see him and then I got the idea in my head and waited. And then you got the idea of going back with a, bo with a bat and right. you went back once, huh? Yeah, just once. Okay. Once it didn't show up. And then he didn't show up and what? And why did you abandon the idea? After? It was too, too dangerous, too much out there. I was just driving back from the mall to uh, have a few beers at home. And he was right there by the, by the fire station. That one week when everything, was, when the circumstances were all right, lo and behold, what do I see? Just that one time, that one week. Never again did I see anybody like that. It's almost like it was prearranged by someone, huh? It, it's just so weird. I don't know what to think. Someone or something. The series of fantasies later on in life that they developed. Yeah, over the years they got stronger and stronger, more, more uh, 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 oppressive, I guess the word is, yeah. continuous, couldn't, couldn't shake them, mm -hmm. and it was just a, a real obsession. I have so many things to tell you, things that I wanted to do differently with you. Right. What's really been puzzling me is how come I just didn't know anything about this. I pretty much was doing things in my own little world. Remember that small one by one square foot box? You know what was that, don't you? No. The mollified uh, head and the genitals of uh, the last big and the West Valley station. Oh, I see. Amazingly, all the times that I should have been caught, I never was. Do you think that maybe Satan was involved? Uh, they had to change to uh, picking up someone on the road. Uh, a hitchhiker, you know, good looking one. And the hitchhiker you're talking about, that was Steven Hicks, right? Right. Everything just fell into place, and I was able to make the fantasy reality. Yeah. It's all in my mind when I think of it. That was your first fantasy, that is, uh, the, the fantasy about looking and seeing what's inside a dog. Right, raccoons and so forth. Yeah. Uh, was that carried into your conscious life, or was it just in a dream? No, it was in my conscious life. Yeah, I went out looking life. for those things. Well, was age 13 when you had, uh, I guess it was a homosexual experience. How did that happen? Was, who initiated that? Uh, we both did, sort of. I don't remember who actually initiated it, but we were both quite comfortable yeah. with it. Both of you sort of at the same time initiated it. Yeah. And was it always... Uh, it was just light, you know, just uh, kissing and kissing. Just holding. And nothing didn't go beyond that. No masturbation or no. anything? No. Not that I remember. And you didn't even think of telling me or, or Mom. Hell no. Your personality, which is... You know, loving, kind, you know, the, the side of you, which is the greatest side of you. I mean, you know, you, you love us, right? You, you love grandma, you show respect to people, you talk civilly and nicely and respectfully, you don't show any anger. Have you, have you done any praying at all to God? Not yet. Yeah. No, I haven't. Uh, Why do you feel that you haven't? Can I ask that? Because it's, uh, I feel that, uh, I don't know, I just feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Because if I fail again. Oh, uh, you, well, oh but we're all, I'm failing too. Yeah. Yeah, all the time I'm failing. I just time. haven't psyched myself up to, to, do, to do that yet. Mm-hmm. If you had had any experience, a heterosexual experience at that time of life, I wonder what you would have. No, I don't know. I don't. I don't desire it now, and I didn't desire it then. You're you're just the love of her life. <laughs> right? Oh yeah. I'm sure that's what happened. Whenever you used to visit her, when I was there, she'd always be in such a good mood, you know, before you actually came. She was always looking forward to your so much. I know. I pretty much was doing things in my own little world. Kept and it all to yourself. Yeah. Right? No. Something got terribly out of control 
nothing got resolved at all. It was just a terrible mixture. Do you think that maybe Satan was involved, or? It was just a real strong, driving obsession that became more and more uh, powerful. I, I was so wrapped up in, in what I was doing. Right. I felt that I was going to continue doing that for the rest of my life. Do you remember that first visit that I had with you at the jail? Yeah. What kind of thoughts were going through your mind? Oh, uh, I was, I was uh, uh, so stunned that it had all happened that uh, I didn't want to see anybody. Mm -hmm. Didn't know how the reaction would be. Mm -hmm. Were you thinking about uh, me or Grandma or anything? Everybody, yeah. Uh, you, Grandma. I'm trying to find clues uh, how this came about. I, I was so wrapped up in, in what I was doing. Just a, a real obsession. Am One I thing I wanted to share with you. Mm -hmm. Remember when you visited uh, uh, Grandma? Uh, remember that uh, uh, small one-by-one -one square foot box? It was wooden, but it had a metal covering. And uh, and you, you were very insistent that I, that I open that up because you thought I had pornography magazines. Yeah, yeah that's right, I did. And uh, I never thought anything more than that. I was arguing with you I was just because I didn't want to open up that case. Oh, I see. Yeah, we almost came to blows. So I went out the door, and I came back in about two minutes later uh, apologizing and everything, and you were on your way down to the basement to uh, break the locks open on the case. You know what was in it, don't you? No. The uh, mollified head and the genitals of uh, the last victim at the, the Westphalus location. You remember back when uh, that uh, molestation case came up in about 1988? Yeah, I do. I think so. At that time, I thought highly of Boyle, mm. Jerry Boyle, and uh, we didn't know how sick you were. But we're going to do everything in our power, Jeff. Remember, we, I came over to your apartment. I really thought that it was, uh, my, my impression was very clean and neat. We were impressed. I did go in his apartment. Can you talk freely there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you remember ever me participating with Bones when you were interested in Bones? No. And were we eating chicken one time and you asked what would happen if we bleached the bones? No. Okay. So I never participated, so to speak, in, you know, putting bleach in a pail. No. And working with Bones. No. Did I ever describe anything to you? Not that I can recall. Not, not that there's anything wrong with that, because that could be just scientific curiosity, yeah. you know? No, nothing that I remember. I pretty much was doing things in my own little world. You kept and... it all to yourself. Yeah. One thing I was uh, wondering about that fish tank of yours. Yeah. Were, were there Siamese fighting fish in there? No, no. All I had in there was... Uh... African cichlids. And they were, uh, you kind of like those? You kind of fascinated by those? Yeah, they act like miniature dolphins. They have real personality. When you say they had a personality, what do you mean? Oh, I mean, they interacted with you. They take food out of your hand. They oh, you're kidding. They'd look at you. They, they knew when you were in the room, and they'd get excited, and they'd, you know, happily swim back and forth. That's amazing. And that was kind of like a, uh, your pets welcoming you home. Right. Yeah, it was something that was fun to come home to. And uh -huh. Feed them in the morning and evening. And I had everything. I had the water chemistry so perfect that it was incredible. Amazingly, all the times that I should have been caught, I never was. Yeah, that's something. Many times I could have been caught. And uh, after that uh, molestation case in 88, uh, with some sex sent in a song. Remember at the jail, I started giving you some 
creation science stuff. How come you started becoming interested in it then? Or I felt it was hopeless. I mean, uh, what point was there when I was doing what I was doing? I mean, it's hard to imagine that afterlife, Jeff. Mm -hmm. But this is our only shot at it. Yeah. Absolutely nothing is too great not to be forgiven. Right. God will forgive anything. Do you remember that night of Monday, July 22nd, 1991? Yeah, what about it? That first contact visit I had with you, remember at the jail? Yeah. What were you, can you remember anything particular you were thinking about? No, that whole week I was just uh, so numb. Very numb, huh? Yeah, numbness was a, ma was a major uh, emotion, I think. How would you have spent the rest of the night if the police hadn't come? I uh, filling the uh, top of that, mm -hmm. you know, blue container with acid. Mm -hmm. 16 gallons of acid. Mm -hmm. Tracy probably would have been gone, huh? How's the cigarette rolling going? Pretty good. I've gotten pretty good at it. Yeah? Do you get it pretty snug? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have one of these acrylic rollers that makes a perfect cigarette, so I don't have to do it with my hand. Although, if it's too tight, then you can't get a good uh, draw. draw from it, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. It takes a little practice. I've gotten it down pat now. Mm -hmm. So that's my big accomplishment here. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to call and see how you were, and I know you probably had kind of a hard day today, huh? Good. Uh, well, we spent four hours of paperwork. Oh, did you? Almost like a full-time job. That's right, yeah. So you have to go over it and just to... Uh, and just show it if it's correct. Right. And if it isn't, then uh, they make little changes. It's amazing that you can remember, you know? Yeah. You remember when I had the first contact visit with you? You remember at the jail? Right. I, I started giving you some creation science stuff then. Right. Did, how, how come you started becoming interested in it then? Before, I was end up in work and then the weekend came, I was serious about it. Mm -hmm. I felt it was hopeless. I mean, uh, what point was there when I was doing what I was doing? You know? Right. Uh, I know it. But nothing, absolutely nothing is too great not to be forgiven. Right. God will forgive anything. Tell me, what are you reading then, Jeff? Uh, 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 going through that uh, biblical science book, underlining it. And Revelation verse by verse, it's incredible really incredible. It talks about the rapture oh. before the tribulation. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, you're you're more uh, uh, knowledgeable on that than I am. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I've been spending most of my time in, in, uh, the, in Genesis. Well, I'll tell you one thing. If anybody had said that uh, I would be spending Saturday nights reading some of that study Bible. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I would have believed that. That's sure. right. It's the only way he could get you there, doing it, huh? Well, that's the only way it would have happened. I guess. It wouldn't have happened any other way. I know that for sure. In your past state of mind, right? Right. Uh-huh. It would not have happened. I know it. Well. Now, that's the way it brings, it brings me to my knees sometimes, too, when I'm thinking wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, uh... And I get back and I get praying to him communicating my thoughts to him and it just feels like I'm getting some direction. Well, and I have you to thank for it because I would never have, have gotten interested in it otherwise. I tell you, that really means a lot to me. You know, I really feel like I've gotten awful, an awful lot closer to you uh, in, these, in these later times. Yeah. And I think we're, uh, you know, on the same, on the same wavelength now. You? Yeah, I do. I think so. You have you have the attention of a lot of people, so that will be a perhaps a tool that has been put into his hands. Yeah. You know, you don't you just don't know what his plans are, but you will. Yeah. Tell me about you know. Have you really thought of suicide again, or are you? No. Okay, I good. Don't no. don't just put that out of your mind because that won't solve it. That'll make a bigger problem for you in the afterlife. Right. 
I mean, it's hard to imagine that afterlife, Jeff. Mm -hmm. But this is our only shot at it. Yeah. And you're, you will do something. I mean, he has something in mind for you. You don't know what yet. I keep hearing that from people writing letters and everything. But I wonder if it's just wishful thinking or what, you know. Do you know how long it'll be before you're in general population? No, that's up to the ward. Mm. I have no idea. I can't make any predictions. Yeah, I mean, no one has told you anything. No, they say things and then, then it ends up that they change it. So they're, what they say is unreliable around here. Yeah, the Shouldn't ward. Shouldn't be too much longer. Shouldn't be? I hope not. Here's okay, I love you, buddy. Keep, here, keep your spirits up and... And just keep on reading and thinking and praying, yeah. okay? Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. I, I really miss him. He's, in the last year, he's turned around completely. Oh.